everybody. So this here is a solution to problem number one of chapter seven. And we have a circuit here. There's an inductor and a resistor. Current is going in that direction and voltage. We're given the voltage function is 160 e to the negative 10, uh, 10t volts. And current is um, 64e to the negative 10t amps. And we want to find R, tau, L, energy at time zero, and the time for the, um, the energy in the inductor to dissipate 60% of the initial stored energy. So, here we go. To find resistance, let's see, how did I do it? So, we just, we just turned to Ohm's law, right? V is equal to I R. So R is equal to V over I. That's 160 e to the negative 10 T over 64 e to the negative 10 T. The E's cancel out. And when you put 160 over 64 into your calculator, you should get 25 ohms. And so for part B, you have to, um, for part B, remember that the format of the exponents in the voltage and the, um, and the current functions take the form of 1 over tau. So knowing that, we say 1 over tau is equal to 10. So therefore, 10 tau is equal to... 1 and tau is equal to 1 tenth, which is equal to 1, which is equal to 100 milliseconds. So our time constant is 100 milliseconds. And you can solve part C in two ways. You can use, uh, L, um, what is it? What is that formula? V is equal to L D I D T. We know L, we know V, and we can differentiate. And um, so, excuse me, <laughs> we're solving for L. We know we can take differentiate, and uh, notice that once you take the the um, voltage and you differentiate D I D T, the E's will cancel out, and you'll just get some number, which will be the inductance. That's one way of doing it. Um, the other way of doing it is to recall that recall that use a relationship out on tau is equal to L over R, right? So therefore L is equal to tau R, which we already figured out was point one. Oops. Point one times twenty-five. Therefore, inductance is 2.5 Henry's. Okay, and omega, the energy stored at time zero. The formula for energy is 1 half L I squared. So, this is just straightforward plugging in. I squared I is 64. E to the negative 10 T, square that. Multiply this times this times 64 squared will give you 51.2. Then E, E to the negative 10 squared is negative 20, 20 T, right? But we're looking at times zero, so at times zero, this is zero and this is one. E to the zero power is one, so energy at times zero is. 51.2 joules. Now we need to find the time that it takes for the energy, the 51.2 joules as stored in the inductor at time zero. How much time, what's the time when it will dissipate 60% of this energy? Well, when it dissipates 60% of this energy, what's left? We take 60% of 51.2 joules, and that gives us uh, 20.48. That's
that's how many joules is left at, um, that's 40% that's remaining, is 20.48. Um, 20 so, so, 20.48, right, set that equal to, this is the initial, 51.2 e to the negative 20 t. So we want to find the time, right? So this is the function. So what I did was I took the function, um, the energy function, the general energy function, which we found to be, remember, negative t was 51 point e to the negative 20 t. So that's just the general function, the general function for energy. Take the general function for energy and set that equal to 40% and ask it and find out what's that time. So to do that, we need to isolate time, 51.2 here, 51.2 here. That leaves us going to move this to the right side. E to the negative 20t is equal to whatever this number is. This number of 20.48. Divided by 51.2 ends up being 0.4. So to bring the, the t out, we take the natural log. That gives us negative 20 t. Mm, let me see. We take the natural log, yeah. That gives us negative 20 t is equal to the natural log of 0 0.4. So therefore, t is equal to the natural log of 0 0.4 divide by negative 20. And that, when you put that into your calculator, is going to give us t is equal to 45.81 milliseconds. And that is problem number one.